Torque Pin Installation First, stand and fasten the drive head in a secure vertical position. Next, remove the OEM pin holding the drive to the knuckle. Follow the OEM pin with torque pin to keep alignment. Once the OEM pin is out, slide torque pin the rest of the way. Do not hit the torque pin with hammer. This may damage the chip inside. If the torque pin won't slide, use the install kit supplied. Thread the end cap into the end of the torque pin. A few turns is recommended. And then tighten up the bolt. This brings the torque pin into place without hammering. For ease of demonstration, we now show the torque pin installed in the opposite direction. The orientation of the pin does not matter, as long as the connector is facing up. Once the torque pin is in, check the drive head is completely vertical in two directions, and then level the torque pin with the connector facing up. This ensures accurate inclinometer readings. Next, scribe a mark along the bottom of the pin as a guide for welding the stopper block in place. Weld the stopper block in place. This will ensure that the torque pin stays in line with the drive head. Reinsert the torque pin. Install the retaining end cap and tighten. If using the optional laser range finder, install the telescoping mount on the drive head and choose the required length to get past the helix on the pile. Cabling. If a junction box is not required, Connect the torque pin directly to the main cable using the main extension cable. Remember to tighten the connections. Leaving enough slack in the cables for rotating the head, zip tie the cables to the hydraulic lines. If using the laser rangefinder or RPM monitor, connect the torque pin to the junction box using the jib cable. Then connect laser rangefinder and or RPM monitor to the junction box. Then connect the main cable to the junction box using the main extension cable. Ensuring adequate slack, tidy the cables and zip tie to the hydraulic lines. Next, run the main cable down the boom into the cab or operating area. Connect the wiring harness to the touch screen display. Attach ram mounts and suction to window. Finally, attach the main cable to the gray wiring harness and battery backup inside the cab. Installation is now complete.